Hi everyone, welcome to Mzansi Update. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for more updates. Is Mohadi from Skim Sami getting divorced? Found out for yourself. So I've been quiet, very, very quiet on the social media streets, not posting anything. So I probably come across as a person who does not relate with current affairs and is not in touch with culture. But... Um, it was really for a very vital reason. There are times in life where one has to um, retreat, isolate themselves um, for spiritual growth. There's a lot that has been going on in my life in the year of 2021. I personally believe the devil is after me. After all that I have gone through this year, you know, from um, the beginning of the year, starting off with... Um, an accident while I was pregnant which almost put my life and my unborn child's life in danger and then um, also having a near-death experience during my birth <laughs> during my delivery which actually wasn't a near-death experience I died for three minutes you know um, my baby was born blue she wasn't supposed to be alive today um, I encountered severe near-death abuse from somebody that I thought I would spend forever with. And, um, yeah, you know, it just keeps getting tough. All of this under um, unemployment as well, because the industry we work in, if you're not working, you're not making money. So as I have been on maternity leave, I haven't really been working. So I haven't been really getting an income, but I've been surviving. So it's been very tough um, emotionally. Uh, it's been a strain physically. One has just been trying to st stay strong for the kids. And um, spiritually, that's where you go to. That's my go-to place when life gets tough. When life gets tough, that's my go-to place. Anybody who knows me very well will know will tell you, Hore, when things are hard, prayer is the only way out. I get down on my knees and pray because I I know no in I know no other way. Like I get a bit like I got a bad I get a bad to I can a sugar daddy. I can a you know what I mean. So the only way I know how. To get out of tough moments in life is to get down on my knees. And um, a lot has been revealed to me in the process. But most importantly, I've learned that I have to unlearn certain ways of life and characteristics about myself um, so that I'd stop ending up in the same patterns of life um, over and over again. So... One needs to unlearn, and it's hard to unlearn when you're an adult because you've established your identity and that's who you are, and you're comfortable with who you are. But I had to take some time out, hear what God needs to tell me about myself, listen to the lesson that I need to learn in this season of my life, and um, um, be willing to grow and grow in all aspects. And um, accepting that sometimes things happen so the shift can happen. So today I am grateful. I'm calmer. I'm less anxious. I'm no longer depressed um, because I believe that God is in control and working things out for my favor. But also I believe that a shift is happening in my life. And... Um, we need to just allow the shift to happen. At the end of the day, his Jehovah Jireh is more than enough, always providing. We don't go to bed on a hungry stomach. We have more than enough, and we always get to get the job done. At the end of the day, he's still in control. So yes, um, <laughs> I guess... I'm still alive, I'm still here, I'm still present, teacher, I'm still present. I'm just not on the social media streets for spiritual maintenance, which is important sometimes. Try it. If it works for me, it will work for you. 